The biggest mistake I've ever made was trying to live a double life almost. My name's Bree. Um, I'm 25 years old and I work for a church down in Chandler, Arizona as a student ministry admin. When I first lived in Arizona, I kind of moved to this new place of kind of going from a Christian school to a public school. And when I did that, I kind of tried to play this of like being the Christian that I was, but then also tried to also play this game of like, how do I fit in almost? And throughout high school, that just kind of created a lot of different scenarios in my life that not so much proud of, but also just like kind of created this weird in between of just like couldn't figure out who I was. Years go past, uh, I moved to Colorado for a little bit, for about six years. Uh, joined a church there and ended up doing a internship, and I have never been mo te more tested in my life. Throughout that nine months, I kind of realized that I do not have a lot of control in my life as I thought I did. No matter what I tried to push, um, God kind of let me know, like, hey, like, just so you know, like, I'm kind of the one who, like, kind of leads you this way of, like, what you truly are meant to do. And as I went through this, um, I kind of learned that the hard way. Um, it wasn't until about six months in until I started to actually act on what God was telling me to do. As I kind of figured that out, I leaned into it and was like, okay, God, like take this from me. Like, like you said, like I have no control. I'm kind of able to just take your hand and you're kind of able there to lead me. And kind of with that, I was able to really express myself in a whole different way. Um, I found myself in more peace than ever. I um, ended up realizing that maybe it's time to go back to Arizona. And I moved here probably about a month ago, two months ago. Since then, um, kind of realizing that living this double life, you know, it put me more of confusion in my head and what I was supposed to be doing, where now as I'm kind of able to realize like, no, live who you are was just the best thing for me. And here I am in the most peaceful mindset, most just able to just enjoy life um, as we did it. So, you know, like we, we all do make mistakes. Um, I've kind of learned that kind of hearing the story of Jesus when he died on the cross for us, um, when he rose from the dead, he still had his scars. So for someone who, you know, had created miracles in his life, why would be the one thing um, that he would keep was his scars? Um, and kind of realizing that, like, I'm going to have scars. The mistakes that I made have been marked on me and on my heart. But it's kind of the way that I would take things is just like, like this wasn't just a mistake that I made, but like this also made me who I am. And with that, I'm able to express um, the scars on my heart or anything like that, the stories that I've been through, like I'm able to share those and not just show the like what happened, but also like how like God has worked in my life. And even though like I felt like I was so confused or anything like that, like God showed like, no, my hand was on you this whole entire time. My name's Bree and thank you for listening about my story on No Gray Areas.